third conditional is basically used for regret. In this situation here, let's see, I didn't study for my test. Well, because I was in a party. As a consequence, I didn't pass. Right? This was the consequence. I got a, an F for my test, right? And if I had, and then we're going to make like a, a question. So if I had, so if I had studied, I would have passed, right? Look at this structure. We must have had here, right? Plus the verb in the past participle form. So the verb goes in the past participle. Participle, okay. After if, we have had plus the verb in the past participle form. The verb here, in this case, is study, right? In the past participle, is studied. Then we have a comma, I would have passed. In the other part, we must use would plus have plus the verb in the past participle. Okay, past participle. Okay, you have to use this structure, right? Don't, don't mix these things, don't say if I would, no, right? If I had studied, I would have passed, or I would have passed if I had studied. Then, in the other situation here, I didn't take my umbrella. Then, as a consequence, I got all wet and irritated. So let's analyze the phrase. So if I, as I said before, you must use had, right? This is a regret phrase. If I had taken my umbrella, I would, in this case, is negative, but no problem, is would plus not, right? I wouldn't have gotten all wet. So the structure is had plus the verb in the past participle form. The verb take, let's remember, Take, right, is the present. Okay, we have taken the present. The past form of take is took. And then the past participle is taken. Okay, so taken here. Right, take, took, taken. And then you have to use this, right, form here. Okay, if I had taken my umbrella, I wouldn't have gotten, right? So would plus have plus the verb in the past participle form. So gotten means like let's put here the present is get. The past is uh, got. Okay. And the past participle, you can say got in this case or gotten, right? You can use uh, both. Then again, I was not patient. We have the verb to be here in the past. I was not patient. As a consequence, I had a car accident. So again, same thing. If I had been patient, so again, had plus the verb in the past participle. In this case, the verb in the past participle is the verb to be, okay? So here the verb to be is in the past. So let's remember, verb to be. So we have the verb to be here, which is is or are or the present, okay? And then in the past, we have was for singular or we have were for uh, plural form. This is the simple past. Then we have the past participle of the verb to be, which is been. So when this is the form you have to use here, right? The past participle form. So if I had been patient, but I wasn't, right? If I had been patient, I would, in this case is negative, so I wouldn't 
plus have plus the verb, right? So I had a car accident. So the verb is had because had will be have, had, had, right? This is the past participle form of have. I wouldn't have had a car accident if I had been patient. So we have to repeat again, have, had, no problem, okay? One more here. I didn't see her, well, then I didn't tell her the truth because I didn't see her, right? And then in this example, I didn't see. So, if I, remember the structure is, after if, you have to put, okay, had. So, if I had, the verb see will be the present, see, the past, saw, and the past participle, seen. Okay, that's what you're going to use here, okay? Well, if I had seen, if I had seen her, I, then you're going to use would plus have plus the verb you need. So we have to put the verb you need here. So let's analyze the phrase. I didn't see her. So if I had seen her, I, oh, I didn't tell because I didn't see. So if I had seen her, I would have. The verb tell will be. The present is tell. The past is told. And the past participle is the same told, right? So if I had seen her, I would have. I would have told the truth. One more here, I killed a man as a consequence. Well, now I am in jail here. Let's see, I killed a man. So if I, it's a regret, right? Remember the structure is had plus the verb in the past participle form. The verb is kill, right? The past participle, so this is a regular verb. So, killed. If I had killed, but in this situation, you're going to use um, the negative form, right? I killed. My regret is if I hadn't killed a man, here I'm going to use, right, in the negative. So, remember the structure is would plus have plus the verb you need in the past participle form. The past participle form of the verb to be is been. And let's analyze. If I hadn't killed the man, then I wouldn't be here, right? I would be outside of, outside of prison. If I hadn't killed the man, so I wouldn't have been in jail. This one, if I had seen him at the meeting, I would have what? I would have asked him. In this case, so I didn't ask him because he wasn't there, so I didn't. So if I had seen him at the meeting, I would have asked him. So it's 100% sure, right? If I had seen him, I would have asked him. But he wasn't there, so I didn't. Another situation, if I had seen him, same thing, at the meeting, I could have asked him. But he wasn't there, so it wasn't possible. So I could probably, right? I could, I can add like, I could probably have asked him, well, I'm almost sure, but I couldn't, it was kind of impossible, right? I was 
impossible for me, right? And the other situations here is if I had seen him at the meeting, I might have asked him, uh, but I'm not sure, right? It's a, like a possibility of maybe, okay? Maybe, right? So I might is like a possibility. So maybe I might have asked him, but I'm not sure. Thanks for watching. Please give me a like or uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you.